month of Rajab and Miraj. Let's learn about this. Nahmaduhu nusalli ala rasulihi al-kareem amma baad. When Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to ask his companion any question, they used to reply, Allah and his messenger know best. So indeed, Allah only knows and his Prophet knows best. So let us have a look at the importance of the month of Rajab and Shabi Miraj, the night of ascension in the light of the Quran and Sunnah. So Rajab is one of the sacred month of Islamic calendar. Prophet said the year is of 12 months, out of which four are sacred. Three one after other, Zikad, Zilhaj, Muharram and the fourth is Rajab, which comes between Jamad al-Aqir and Shaban. This is in Sahih al-Bukhari. In Arabic, Rajab means to respect or to revere. Rajab was also known as Rajab Mudar. Mudar was the name of an Arab tribe. This tribe had taken special steps to sanctify and revere this month. Thus, this month came to be associated with the tribe. Killing and waging wars was very rampant in the pre-Islamic Arabia. But when the sacred months came upon them, they would stop all the wars and killing and uh, put their weapons aside. Therefore, regarding Rajab, the ignorant Arabs used to say Rajab is that in which arrows and weapons are kept aside. So, ignorant people used to sanctify this month, especially Rajab, and would not wage wars, and do, they would sacrifice animals in the name of their idols. This is in Behaqi. But Islam did not command any special ibadah in this month. However, with the passage of time, certain acts of worship came to be associated with this month. Inshallah, we will discuss about that false rituals also. But what is the real, uh, real religion? The real religion, it should be very clear in our minds that what's the real religion is. The real religion is that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala conveyed to us through Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So our, our religion is total submission and obedience towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the sunnah of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Today I have completed your religion for you and completed my favor upon you and choose Islam as a religion for you. Surah Al-Maida, ayah number 3. So anything which Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did not order us to do, considering it to be a part of the Islam and expecting it to be a source of ajar and sawab, reward, is bidah. What is bidah? It's an innovation. So we can't do anything which is not uh, in the Sharia. Prophet Wasallam said, indeed, every new thing, innovation, and every innovation is deviation, and every deviation leads to fire. This is in Sahih Jame as Sabir. Regarding the innovator, Prophet Wasallam said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not accept the repentance of the innovator. Until he quits doing the innovation things, Sahih at targhib wa tahrib. Prophet ﷺ said, this is in Bukhari, I will be at my pound from before and some of you will brought in front of me. Means how is it possible? And then they will be removed from me in front of me. So I will ask, oh my Lord, these are my ummah, these are my people. But I will be told, you don't know about new things they innovated after you. So therefore it is very important and essential to avoid and stay away from all such matters which were innovated after Prophet Muhammad in the name of Islam. Because Prophet said the person who innovated something new in our religion which is not a part of our religion will be shunned and rejected. This is in Bukhari. So let's learn about the Miraj event. The exact date of Miraj is still controversial and no common consent has been reached. However, the majority of jurists are in favor of a date between 6 to 12 months prior to migration to Medina. The following is an epitome of the details of the miraculous event narrated on the authority of Ibn al-Qayyim. 
زیادہ مد ٹو فورٹی نائن طریق الاسلام ون سو ہی واز آلسو مینشن رحمت العالمین ان سیونٹی سکس پیش دا میسینجر آف اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم واز کیریڈ ان باڈی فرام سیکرٹ مسجد ان مکہ ٹو ڈسٹنٹ مسجد ان جیروسلم آن اے ہارس کال دا برا ان دا کمپنی آف اینجل جبرائل دیر ہی الائٹیڈ تھے درڈ ہارس ٹو ارنگ ان دا گیٹ آف مسجد and led the prophets in prayer after jibril al islam took him to the heaven on the same horse when they reached the first heaven jibril al islam asked guardian angel to open the door of heaven it was open and he saw adam al islam the progenitor of the mankind prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said salam and other welcomed him and expressed his faith in muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam He saw the souls of martyrs on his right and those of the wretched on the left. Jibreel al-Islam then ascended with Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa on the second heaven, asked for opening the gate and there he saw and um, said salam to John, son of Zakaria al-Islam, that is Yahya and Isa al-Islam, son of Maryam al-Islam, then returned salam, welcomed him and expressed the uh, faith in his prophethood. Then they reached the third heaven, where they saw Yusuf al-Islam and said salam. The later welcome Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam expressed faith in his prophethood. Prophet in the company of Angel Jibrail, they reached fourth heaven, fourth level, where they met Prophet Idris al-Islam and said salam and there expressed the faith in his prophethood. Then he was carried to fifth heaven, where he met Prophet Harun al-Islam and did salam later returned and uh, salam and expressed faith in prophethood. Sixth heaven he met Musa al-Islam and said the salam the latest uh, returned the salam and expressed faith in his prophethood. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa on leaving saw Musa al-Islam started crying. He asked uh, the reason. Musa al-Islam said he was crying because he witnessed a person sent after him a messenger Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam who was able to lead more people to jannah than himself then prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam reached the seventh heaven met ibrahim alislam and did the salam later returned the salutation like salam and express faith in prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam then he was carried to sidratul muntaha like remote lotus tree and was shown Baitul Mamur, the much frequent house which is like the Kaaba sacred house encompassed daily by 70,000 angels. So that angels who once encompassed would not have their turn again till the resurrection. Where is Baitul Mamur? It's right up on the Kaabatullah in the sky where the angels do the ibadah and no angel is repeated. They are praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he was then presented to divine presence and expressed the thrill of witnessing divine glory and manifestation closest possible uh, to reveal uh, upon to his servant that which he revealed and ordained 50 salah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered 50 salah. So on his return, he spoke to Musa al-Islam. He said, this is really hard that your ummah won't be able to do it he said go back and ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to remission in number so prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam turned to angel jibril as if holding the counsel with him and angel jibril nodded yes if you are desire ascended with him to the presence of allah the almighty glory is to him made a reduction of 10 salas he then descended and reported to Musa al-Islam. He said, make a request for the reduction. So Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa one more begged his uh, Lord to reduce the number still further. He went again and again in the presence of Allah at the suggestion of Musa al-Islam for a reduction in the number of prayer, prayer till it was reduced to five only. So Musa al-Islam again asked him to implore for more reduction. But he said, I feel shy now of uh, 
going again i'm not going to do it so, so this is how the five sala so some significant uh, suggestive incidents uh, featured the night journey of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam of which we could mention prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam chest was cleft by angel jibril this is another time you remember the first time when he was a child this is the second time his heart extracted and washed with the water of zamzam and sacred spring in makkah this is like a open heart surgery and the second thing in the same context they were brought to him two gold vessels there was a milk in one while the other was full of wine he was asked to choose either of them so he selected the vessel containing milk and he drank it he angel said you have been uh, uh, guided on fitra or you have attained al fitra had you selected wine your nation would have been misled so it is symbolic way of saying that good and evil in the form of milk and wine were brought before prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he instinctively made a choice for the good like selecting the milk so it is very difficult to render the arabic term fitra into english it denotes the original constitution or disposition with which child comes into this world as a contrast with the qualities or inclination acquires during life beside it refers to the spiritual inclination and third thing we learn prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam told that he saw two manifest rivers the nile and euphrates and two hidden ones it uh, appears that two manifest rivers the nile and euphrates symbolically describe the area in whose fertile valley muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam message will settle and the people were of will always remain the adherent barrier of islam and that will be passed on from generation to another they can by no means suggest that they will help from garden fourth thing we learn that he had opportunity to see malik the guardian of hell with a cheerless frowning face there he saw the hell dwellers of whom were those who unjustly eaten up the property of the orphans they have flew similar to those of camels swallowing red hot stones and then issuing out of their backs there were also people who take uh, usury with the bellies and their bellies were too big because of the interest they were not able to move around they are torn by this people of pharaoh when they are admitted into hell in the same abode he saw adulters of a tasty fatty meat and rotten smelly one smelly one like you know adulters like whether they call uh, a living relationship or doing the zina all those things bad things and but they make option for the later the licentious women were also where they are hanging from their chests fifth thing that night journey raised a good deal of stir among the people and the skeptical audience plied muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam with all sorts of questions he told them that he saw the camel of makkah merchants to and fro he also guided them to some of their animals that went as to he informed them that he had drunk some of their water while they were fast asleep and left container covered so for the true muslim however there was nothing unusual about the night journey the almighty allah who is powerful enough to have created the heaven and earth by an act of his will he surely is powerful enough to take his messenger beyond the heaven and show those signs of his at the first hand which are inaccessible to man otherwise the disbeliever on their part went to see abu bakar on account of this event but and he readily said yes i do verify it it was on this occasion that he earned the title of asiddi the verified of the truth the and the most eloquent and most concise justification of the journey is expressed in allah's words in order that we might show him muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam our ayas proof evidence this is in suratul isra it was mentioned and also rahil maktum 
the seal nectar in that also it's mentioned but what are the things we do false rituals sacrifice kurbani in the month of rajab this is false rituals we are not supposed to do this and in this month some people offer sacrifice however sacrifice in this month is a custom of the times of the jahiliya ignorant time and ignorant arabs used to offer a goat for sacrifice in this month called al athira and the skin of the sacrifice goat was the hung on a tree and called rajabia sacrifice of rajab in bukhari and muslim abu huraira has narrated that rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said fara is nothing and athira is nothing Farah was the first born calf of a camel which was sacrificed in the name of idol and second thing like people do special prayer this is also incorrect there is uh, nothing with the sharia another special mode of worship attributed by some people to this month is the uh, salatul raqib according to, to the custom of such people this salah is performed in the night of first a uh, friday of this month of rajab the salah of raghib is said to consist of 12 raka to be performed in the pair with six salams in each raka surah al qadr is recited three times followed by surah ikhlas this type of salah is not based on any sound source of sharia this is innovation this started in 4th century and has no basis ibn taymiyah Uh, Radiallahu said right in his book that all the scholars have unanimously declared this salat to be fabricated and made up Be- because Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam never ordered this kind of salat on first friday of the rajab he never said to do the following things this is incorrect therefore almost all jurists and scholars of sharia have held the salat of raqib as baseless practice and it is not permissible to treat it recognized for this month and it is incorrect thing and another thing the people do observing fast some people observe fast in this month from authentic uh, hadith we know there is no such thing especially in the month of rajab but whoever fast every month 13 14 and 15th of uh, lunar month they can fast no problem monday and thursday they can fast but specially in the month of rajab if you are thinking fasting 27th of the uh, rajab thinking the miraj there is not a single hadith regarding that not a single hadith or you are uh, thinking like whole night you have to awake and do the ibada there is no such thing as mentioned to do ibada and allah uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the quran surah al-hujurat ayah number 1 oh you who believe do not go beyond allah and his rasul so umar radiyallahu anhu used to forbid people in rajab he also used to compel the people to break their fast because the exaggerated reverence of rajab and observe fast in this month was an act of ignorance jahiliya so this is incorrect but if you have the habit of fasting 13 14 15 or ayam e bid and monday and thursday but not precisely thinking like 27th of rajab your sins will be forgiven or any kind of there is no such thing not a single authentication and also fourth thing umrah in the month of rajab some people used to perform umrah in the month of rajab there is no single narration no tradition of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam um, is found like uh, he ever ordered to perform umrah in this month and he he didn't do it in the month of rajab you can do whole year whenever you want but there is not a single narration regarding that and specially the fifth thing before ending it kunde like special means in in rajab like uh, specially on 22nd of rajab people make a call kunde uh, like this is a tradition a manna tradition sweet dishes halwa puri or kheer are prepared from historical facts we know that this tradition began in 1906 in the family of amir mania who belonged to a city of india 
the objective of this tradition was to send rewards isale sawab to the soul of imam jafar sadiq although it was never clear if imam jafar was born in rajab or he died in rajab so in islam celebrating the birth of a righteous person or doing special charity in his name is not allowed moreover the kunde tradition is neither found in the quran or sunna nor do we find any evidence for kunde from any of the companions of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and not tabeen even the third uh, generation tabe tabeen so these are all incorrect things there is no special qurbani in rajab there is no special prayer there is no special fasting there is no special umrah or no special uh, uh, meal of kunde this is all incorrect and regarding the uh, rajab there is no special uh, prayer or anything and uh, regarding the miraj we learned it happened and we believe in that jazakallah khairan kaseera